Okay, so continue with this problem. Now we're going to do the second statement here. And the second statement says the probability that z is between negative 1.99 and 0 0.89. Okay, so looking for the probability that z is between negative 1.99 and 0 0.89. All right, so once again, I see that it's a z here value, and I'm indicating then by using that notation that we're using the standard normal curve. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a bell curve to represent that. It's a visual aid to help us solve the problem. Then we'll have a z-score number line, and on that number line, we will have the label, the number zero labeled, always in the center because the standard normal curve has a mean of zero. Okay, now at that point, we're going to try to locate these two numbers on the line. Negative 1.99, I'm going to say, is on the left because it's negative, and I'm going to say 0 0.89 is on the right because it's positive. And above on the curve, I'm going to indicate where those two points are. And since this statement reads the probability that z is between these two values, I'm going to go ahead and shade between those values. That's going to be the area we need to find under the curve that would be equivalent to the probability that z is between these two numbers. So let's think about what's going to happen when we go to the table. When we go to the table, once we have our drawing shaded, by the way, that's when we go to our table. When we go to the table, we're going to look up this z-score, for example. And when I look up that z-score, it's going to give me the area from that line to the center, because that's how our table reads. If I look up this number, it's going to give me the area from this line to the center, because that's how the table always reads. Now, if you think about that, we're going to have two separate results then from the table. Those two separate results, you can see by this visual aid, that they need to be added together so that the total area it's going to be the sum of this part and this part. And so our final result is going to basically be the addition of this area plus this area, because that comprises the total shaded area. All right, so let's go to the table and start looking these z-score values up. So in this problem, we have to look up negative 1.99. Notice the table doesn't have any negative values, but it is symmetric because it's a bell curve. So that means if we looked up 1.99, it would be the same as looking up negative 1.99. So let's just go ahead and look up the 1.99, and that will be the same thing as looking up negative 1.99. So we need to worry about the difference between negative and positive numbers in terms of probability. We'll get the same probability regardless of whether the z-score is um, 1.99 or negative 1.99. Okay, so you can see at the very bottom of the table here on the screen, we have 1.9, the first two digits, and then we go all the way over until we find the 9 here. So 1.99 and we end up looking down to see the answer is 0.4767. Okay, and the next number we have to look up is 0 0.89, 0 0.89. So let's find the 0 0.8 on the curve. We move this up here, we'll see that 0 0.8 is there. And then, because the last digit is nine, it's gonna be 0 0.8, and then all the way over to where we see the nine, right? So 0.8 and then all the way over to the 0.9 or the 0.09 and we get the answer 0.3133. Okay, so now that we have the answers for the area from this line to this line, which was 0.3133, and the answer from this line to the center, which was 0.4767. We should be able to find the total area of the shaded region by adding those two values together. So let's go ahead and do a little old school addition here. So 3 and 7 give you 10. That gives you another 10, right? And then that's 9, and then 7. So we end up with the result 0.7900, which is the same thing as, of course, 79%.